Well, Southern Arizona has more than its fair share of beautiful homes, but we also have some bizarre dwellings, and a couple of them are up for sale right now. And in this special report, News 4 Tucson's Amanda Gomez is taking you inside some rare real estate with a lot of history. We went searching for some of the most unique pieces of real estate, and these two have been in the spotlight recently because you won't find many pieces of property like this. If you look up here on the hillside, the actual cave house is underneath this section of the mountain. Hidden inside the Mule Mountains, just outside Bisbee, you'll find this one-of-a-kind home. Welcome to the cave house. It's called the cave house because it's actually a cave. See here behind me is natural, and then this is artificial. Good moist environment, you can actually smell the cave. Uh, there's a bed out front here, maybe for the more uh, claustrophobic visitor. More than 20 years ago, the owners blasted through the rock and built the home right into the mountain. Years later, they decided to sell it, but realtor Robert Maloney says he never got to meet the original owners, so he can only guess why they decided to give it up. I would think it has something to do with the care taking that has to go on with the property, and there's a lot of stairs. You can say that again. These steps everywhere. You can see how much it took to build this sucker. The home is back on the market for the third time, listed for close to a million dollars. And Maloney says it's not easy to find the right buyer. When I was approached to take the listing by the current owner, my uh, mind was like, how am I going to market this property? Who's going to buy this type of property? And it's going to be difficult to sell. But everybody is amazed. It's because it is a, it's a one of a kind property. If living in a cave house above ground isn't your thing, how about underneath the ground? This is the entrance to the silo. Yes, this is actually the elevator shaft and uh, it had a stairwell to get down into uh, a very long alley, which will tee off. The missile itself was housed over here off to my right. That's cattle rancher Grant Wilson, the current owner of a decommissioned Cold War era missile silo in Oracle. We decided to buy it back in the, the 80s when uh, Reagan was in office and they decommissioned all the missile bases. Wilson decided to sell the property because he says it's too much of a liability having it. We get a lot of trespassers to come in, try to looky-loo, try to go down in the silo. A lot of kids try to break in, throw a party in there. But before the new owners take over, he gave us a tour of the place. First, we had to make our way 60 feet underground. On our way down through the, the shaft to get us to the command center. Very dark down there. Very dark. Here's one of the blast doors. I believe it weighs close to, to six tons and you can still move it. it. Takes a little force, but it's amazing after all these years that it can still move. And then off to our left over here, that's actually the command center. This is where they housed the, all the computers and electronic equipment. Uh, here are the computer racks that were absolutely full of uh, computer hardware. This nuclear missile silo, nicknamed Ace in the Hole, is one of 18 around southern Arizona and one of three listed by realtor Grant Hampton. Hampton says he's been getting calls from people around the world interested in learning more about this piece of the past. Saudi Arabia, Sweden, uh, you know, all the way to New York, just uh, calls from everywhere. As for what the buyers are going to do with this silo, I believe they want to build a uh, residence on top and then you know, restore what's below ground. Something Wilson says he wishes he could have done. I've always wanted to live down inside of there, but of course the wife says no. <laughs> to learn more about both of these properties, just head on over to our website, kvoa.com. Amanda Gomez, News 4 Tucson. All right.